welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today's video is about the toilet. Now, I just got done cleaning my like guest bathroom and I have to say, I have been turned off from clean with me videos when it involves a bathroom because I'm embarrassed of my toilet. Now, I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but when I clean my toilet, you know, I use like the Lysol products and let it soak and I scrub away. And no matter how hard I scrub, there is still a ring around the toilet where the water sits. And I have looked into like, how do I get this ring off? Does it need me to like, you know, get power tools or something to like scrub even harder than I'm physically able to? And in doing my little research, I've come to find this product that I'm going to give a try today. It's kind of like a pumice stone. And there are some concerns when I pitched this idea to my husband, he was like, isn't that gonna ruin the toilet? Now there's claims that it won't, there's claims that people are convinced it will. I'll let you guys know if it ends up ruining the toilet in like a future video, I'll give you guys an update. But people swear by this that it takes out that ring and makes your toilet look brand new. So that's what we're gonna give a try today. Um, I will try to link, my husband bought this, I'll try to link the product that he got down below in the description box in case you guys like how this turns out and want to try this for yourself. Okay, so here is my freshly cleaned toilet. Uh, you still can see the bubbles from the last time I flushed. And you can kind of see, I'm not afraid to touch it because I cleaned it. There is a ring around the toilet. Like it doesn't matter how hard I scrub. I've tried to like scratch it off with my finger and this ring just stays there. So, Apparently what we do is we have to soak the pumice stone, like it won't work if it's dry. Like let's say you get all the water out of there, you need the, this thing to be wet. So we're gonna soak it. And then I guess we're just gonna try to scrub this thing off. Now I'm not pressing really hard because I am like that that fear in the back of my mind that I'm gonna like ruin my toilet is is present, but I figure if I don't scrub too hard, but it takes it off, then it's a win. And it looks like it's working. Can't really see that line. We can definitely see where it starts over here. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the ring. my finger over this portion there's definitely like like a raised bit I don't feel it as much over here and I'm only gonna go over where I see a line there could be a little bit of buildup still but if I don't see the line that solves the problem until the next time I have to do this All right, we're gonna flush this and see if there's any other spots that I missed. Okay, so I really don't feel any build it back here. There's a little bit here. And it also doesn't even feel like there's a scratch on the toilet or anything like that but obviously if there is damage, it would probably be over time. So again, I will do an update video in a few months, I'm sure, especially if I notice that there is a, you know, definite problem. I really don't feel too much buildup. And honestly, I think what I care more about is the discoloration. So as long as it doesn't look like there's buildup for now, I'm okay. So this is what the stone looks like after it's been used. It's still wet, it'll obviously dry, and then the next time I use it, I'll have to soak it again. But I have to say I'm really happy and pleased with 
how it took that stain away. Like now I, I feel like my toilet actually looks clean when it's clean instead of still dirty after I scrub it really hard with my toilet brush. Well, I hope this video helps anybody out there who's considering using one of these products with your own toilet. Maybe now I will feel more comfortable doing like clean with me videos so that you guys can actually watch me clean my bathrooms and get motivation from that. But anyways, I just like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you stick around and check out all of my motherhood content and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.